this month I'm doing this book. Good size. I need this blender? No. The nail artist that does um, the Kardashian sales. Ready and we're heading out soon. Book covers from Etsy. This one is jumpsuit as well or swim. Shoes, I picked out a few. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a vlog which I haven't done one in a very long time. I, I've been pretty busy with work so most of the time my work is just sitting at the desk. That's why I haven't really vlogged because we haven't gone out that much. Here and there, yes. Overall, it's just not consistent enough that I feel like as a vlog, it's not that interesting. This week, I'm gonna vlog because by the time this vlog is posted, the following week, we're heading to Mexico. So I thought I'm gonna vlog this week and kind of share how I prep myself before a trip and kind of get my life, you know, organized before I step away. For example, I need to redo my nails. I have my hair appointment and etc. etc. There's kind of like a ritual I have to go through before I go on my trip. Trip and that's exactly what's gonna happen this week. Well, enough said, let's get this vlog going. Got some packages, let's open them. First up, we have my book of the month. I really like their service. They help you choose, I think, six books, and then you can pick one every month at a discounted rate. This month, I'm doing this book. Darling Girl. It has to do with Peter Pan, but more on the darker end. A novel of Peter Pan, it says Darling Girl, Liz Mikkelski. I've been with them for a year now, so I'm a book of the month BFF. Next up, Alan and I got sweatshirts from Stussy. He got a hoodie, I got a sweatshirt. They sell out so quick, so they're always out of my size or the color I want, but this time we got this one. So cute. It's been a minute I wore since I wore Stussy. I think I haven't worn one from since like high school. <laughs> this is the back. The, I got the brown color with the white. They also come in gray and also black. I did get it in medium, so it's oversized again, which I think it's it's a decent medium. Sorry, my AC is so loud. But yeah, it's a decent medium. It's like good size. If you want it even or more oversized, then I would say go up to a large or extra large. It is unisex, so men, women, same. Next up, this one's hefty. I'm upgrading jelly beans blender and I finally bought this blender. I think a lot of you might have seen it on Instagram. The Beast. It's so aesthetically pretty. I did ask a friend that bought it. She says the quality is really good. That's why I wanted to give it a try. I do have the bullet, but the bullet doesn't really work for jelly beans purpose because the size of the container is so big and the amount we need to blend for her is small and this one comes has a smaller container that I think would work better for her. Let's get this open. I forgot I bought it and then yesterday it came I was like what is that big box? container I think the vessel and accessories this is the main machine oh, this is the oh this is the water bottle Alan you can use this one it has that infuse you can infuse fruit in it too much work I used it then So pretty. I swear these days, I 
and make things pretty aesthetically pleasing. That's how they get you. I need this blender? No. But did I want it? Yes. It's a good upgrade for Jelly Bean. I got this set through Amazon, so I'll link it below if you guys are interested. Whatever you got, I got one that is better than you. <laughs> the lighting is going on this side. I'm going to give you a Stussy stickers. This reminds me of high school when I used to stick all that shit on my skateboard. Um, oh, damn. It's the hoodie. It's all about the zip hoodie joke. <laughs> From New York, Los Angeles, Tokyo, to London, to Paris. And That's to another. check this out. Oh, so we have to see. Bronx, Compton, Santa Ana. What's that say? Brooklyn and Venice. World tour, baby. That's where I'm at. Well, basically, we have the same logo, but my front is bigger. The front, my mine has an all-over font oh, mine's in the, the front. Just my, the top. Yeah, you're just the the pocket. Looks good. Yours is like oversized too. Yeah, because I'm skinny now. <laughs> okay, you were never not skinny. Okay, bye. Watch me under the light. So keep me in your Cause I can do this all night. This is my go-to order. I get the harvest bowl, but instead I do the arugula, the miso sesame ginger sauce. This sauce is the best. They have wild rice, blackened chicken. I change the chicken to the blackened chicken and avocado, I add that too. And then I take away apple and the cheese because I can't do dairy. And voila, I have to mix it though. Salad tastes very blend. This sauce is so good. Oh, I need to cut up the avocado. I kind of wish they'll just mix it for me. Maybe next time I'll put it in. You could ask them to. Yeah, but then the the veggies get like kind of soggy. Mmm, smells so good. Like I ain't pretending that I'm enjoying this. I'm actually enjoying this. So good though. And when I was like. Why is arugula so good? You know what you're missing? What? One egg. Whoever doesn't like salad, I'll be like, try this one. It's already afternoon. I finished my work and since I have some time, I need to get my nails redone. I have all my nail gear now in a little cart. I straight up have a... Oh, that was my cat's toy. Anyway, so yeah, so this, I have a cart of all the necessities that I need and so I can easily maneuver it over there. Also, I know this is a weird angle, it's so bright right now. Let's see, I got new um, Gel X tips. This is by the artist that, the nail artist that does um, the Kardashians nails and this is the more tapered coffin style. And looking forward to try, trying it out. So it's, I don't know if you can see, you see it's like more tapered. It's definitely on the longer end. So this time my nails is gonna be fairly long. Let's see how that goes.
finished. I did neon pink, longer tapered coffin with crystals. Took me a while, but it's done. These the only ones they have. Isn't that comfy? The sofas. I'll make it. Into, I don't know. It's so comfy. Where are you gonna put this? Uh, it will cover your whole wall and the door. some errands this morning um, wanted to pick up some last-minute groceries that we can have during the week and before we leave and then also stop by crates and barrel because I wanted to find a new floor lamp for the room and I did however they didn't have it in stock so they ordered it and I would have to go back to pick it up I think it will really match the vibe of this room but it will add some whiter lighting into this room since my overhead now has the I have the drum cover which makes the light more yellow and then other than that I got my favorite scent I have this downstairs in the guest bathroom also my husband's office also has this and I want one for my room too because it's such a nice scent I think I would say it's very refreshing this scent in comparison to other scents it's not at all hef heavy this is the bottle i love this bottle it's so pretty it's so chic looking black color the white scent their white scent is more on the musky end which i don't like i'm a fan of more neutral tone earth tone scents this one is their charcoal scent and it's very earthy, which I love. I actually discovered the scent when we were um, up north at Paso that one weekend for wine tasting. And um, at one of the wineries, they had the scent in their bathrooms. I was like, oh my God, I was like, where did they get the scent? And yeah, I've been using it ever since. added on to this level over here my bookshelf is complete basically i'm still waiting on my book covers that should be it's on the way but the shop i purchased on from etsy she's located in london so i think transit is taking a minute other than that everything is pretty much set on here i do have some spots for my bags that i kind of keep on the shelf the ones that I use been using a lot lately and just make it part of the display good morning it is Sunday and we are heading out for brunch I'm also heading to get my waxing done before the Mexico trip this is one of the things that I make sure I get done before I leave for any trip I got ready and we're heading out soon today is an in-between kind of weather it's like semi-cold but not really kind of sunny so I'm wearing this outfit right now um, this crop cardigan it's a bit off shoulder and wide legs from Zara that I recently purchased. These are so comfortable and they're just so easy to wear. For shoes, we have my Balenciaga sneakers. I actually haven't worn these in so long because it's just so chunky that it doesn't go with regular pants, but with these Y legs trend that's going on right now, it works really, really well, and I really like the look. And for accessories, I got some new jewelry from Love Stylize. They're super affordable and budget-friendly, so I'll link them below. I really like their quality, and I thought, you know, they'll work well for this 
trip as well. It has more of a summer look. See better this way. I did a brown color hoop with a white hoop and I think it looks really cute with this outfit. Did some chain necklaces. These are from Ailey Vale, not from Love Stylize. I'll make sure to link them below too. And lastly, of course, my bag. Right now, this is my favorite child. So yeah, I'm wearing this again. It just goes with every outfit currently. And ready to go. custom book covers from Etsy that I ordered. I'll make sure to link the store below because the seller was super nice. Very, I love her ideas, which is fraction of the price compared to the original brand that gave me the custom sleeves idea, which is Juniper Books. I'll also put theirs below. Obviously their covers are a little bit more elaborate, but for what I need, this is perfect. And um, yeah, let's open it up. I'm so excited. When people say, you're my, ask me, how do I work with my long nails? I think I've had them for so long, my entire life. I've had long nails since I was 18. I've come to a custom using them and I'm actually quite aggressive with them. Like I know they can hold up pretty well. Um, these shape and the new ones that I got, which is like coffin shape, actually is a little bit tougher because in terms of they don't have the sharpness at the front the the stiletto shape i literally use it like like claws like a cat i just like puncture things with it it works really well to my advantage for the most part Ooh, wow she really packed it in look at that oh look she has a little note here follow a minimal planet here I had her pick out the fonts for me based on the book title and you can put more details but I kept it very minimal I did it in two colors. So the first one is in this, I don't know if you can tell from the lighting. It's, it's almost a cream color, cream white. And then I also did, uh, yeah, you can tell with the white next to it. And, and this is more on a pure white paper. And her paper quality is obviously good paper quality. Yeah, let's put it on the books and see how it looks. I think it's harder to tell when it's just like this. <laughs> on I got white ones for the Harry Potter because this set is more on the white side but I got the more cream color up here 
and then this one I went with white as well. So there's some difference, but overall the color scheme is there. Good morning. Today it's already end of the week almost. It's like today's Thursday and I only have four days before we are heading out to Mexico. I like to like prepare ahead of time in terms of my clothes and stuff. That way I have a few days to kind of think about it if I want to change my mind. Yeah, right now, you know, it's still like my regular clothes. So I'm going to start packing and kind of organize my clothes and I'm going to walk you through the process with me. Let's go. now on the rack and I definitely still probably have to think about it for a few days but overall I think I have an idea of what I need and this time around my color palette is on the more neutral end but with some green the reason I do that is because then I don't have to bring a lot of pairs of shoes I can bring maybe two to three pairs and it will work across the board so that's why even when traveling I do think about like the color scheme in some ways for the first the travel day outfit i'm gonna be just wearing my sweats that i recently purchased from h&m and i haven't decided if i want to do a black or white tank i usually what i do is when i wear this and when i get there i'll send it to laundry and have them wash it so that the day i fly back i'll wear the same outfit but it'll be clean and for the first night because i probably want to feel more chill we'll get there like in the late afternoon we'll probably tan for a bit and use the facilities and whatnot and then we'll do dinner and uh for the first night i'm gonna probably wear this jumpsuit or i'm aiming to because it's very relaxing i can wear it with flats and just be comfortable and just you know but still look cute for cover-ups i'm bringing these two pair of pants i've mentioned in my haul when i was reviewing these from her by h my girlfriend's brand in taiwan um i don't really like wearing cover-ups as like a real cover-up i usually just wear pants and then with my bikini top so these are my two cover-ups that i can wear throughout the week when you know we're just using the pool and just being you know bikinis or whatnot for additional tops to switch out of for lunch or whatnot if we are to you know want to dress up real quick i'm bringing this little uh crop satin top that i purchased a while back and then i also have uh, this little linen top and then lastly i'm also bringing this halter um, satin top from Zara that I recently purchased. These three tops I think is super easy to wear but if I style it up with some accessories I can make it a little bit more formal being more you know just pants and top kind of look then I can still wear this to dinner and um, but if not you know I still have other outfits. And then for slightly more you know fun formal look this one is a jumpsuit as well i actually bought this for my wedding and i never wore it and never i brought like i over brought outfits for my wedding at the time and i did it purposely just in case i changed my mind and how my body feels that way you know that day and whatnot so but yeah i never got the chance to wear this i'm bringing this along so that i can wear it this time the detailing on this is so cute it's just perfect for i feel like it's just perfect for cancun and mexico trip resort vibe lastly is this dress from zara the cutout one that i did in my haul think this will make a cute dinner look as well and for swim i'm bringing these guys i'm a big fan of triangle swimwear so i got two new sets from them this white set it has this textured fuzzy fabric which i thought was so cute also got a monokini from them where it has this shimmery green fabric i think it'll be cute to switch it up and wear this 
as well. This is an older set also from Triangle. And no, these are not sponsored. I wish I was. They did send me a swimsuit a long time ago, but that's also why I started to like them because their fits are so good and their fabrications are so sturdy. This one's also um, textured. I wore this on the cruise ship. And yeah, this is a very secure swimsuit. So if we are going to do any water sports, I think this one would be a perfect one to wear. It's just very secure, very easy to wear. I'm also bringing my Zimmerman set, which I think, you know, always good to have additional. And then, uh, but yeah, bring this one too. This one's slightly more high waist and sometimes it's good to have an option like that because you eat a lot on the resort and the high waist i feel like it always complements any body type a lot more and it covers up the main belly area from um that might be showing after eating a lot of food for shoes i picked out a few which i may edit out just because this is a little bit more than i would prefer to bring but i did want to bring two pairs of flats instead of just one pair these are the new flats that i recently purchased and um, i'll make sure to link them below they're super budget friendly but really really cute um, my stuart weitzman heels which i've only worn like once the gucci heels which i've only worn like two three times and then my ray uh platforms just because i think these are perfect resort friendly shoes i can wear them easily and they're very comfortable and it'll go with a lot of the outfits but yeah so far are these selections and that is the most part for the packing obviously i haven't finished it yet i need to finish it more closer to date i think i'm gonna end my vlog here in the next one it will be my cancun uh vlog travel vlog so i hope you guys will join me then before that i just wish everybody a wonderful week ahead and i will see you guys on the next video